Guinea Pigs Add Up, written by Marjorie Kyler, illustrated by Tracy Campbell Pearson. Mr. Gilbert tells our class that soon we'll have a pet. A garter snake? A hermit crab? We wonder what we'll get. On Monday, when we come to school, a cage is by the wall. Inside it is a guinea pig curled up into a ball. We cuddle him, we stroke him, he twitters, chirs, and tweets. He nibbles on our fingers and eats up all our treats. We put him back inside his cage, he huddles on his shelf. He looks so sad and lonely, crouching by himself. We ask our teacher nicely to go back to the vet and pick another guinea pig to play with our new pet. Mr. Gilbert brings one back. It turns out it's a she. And two weeks later in the cage, one pig gives birth to three. Guinea pigs add up. Now we have five guinea pigs. We watch them use a slide and pop, pop, popcorn on the rug, then scuttle off and hide. We take them to the playground. They scamper on the grass. We roll some rubber balls to them and giggle as they pass. Then, uh-oh, eight weeks later, five pets have fifteen more. We count them, one to twenty. Help, guinea pigs galore! Mr. Gilbert starts to cry. They really have to go. The cage is just not big enough to hold the overflow. He calls up all our parents. Please, please adopt our pigs. I must find homes for all of them before they get too big. My mom and dad agree that I can take one home. The patchy pig's my favorite, the one I want to own. Caitlin adopts the littlest, Wayne the waviest one, Sophia the pig with freckles, that's always on the run. Guinea pigs subtract. Soon they're all adopted, no pigs are left to add. The cage looks very empty and we are kind of sad. Then our teacher tells us that yesterday he met a rabbit sweet as honey. Now he's our classroom pet. We name him Mr. Whiskers, but, uh, oh, then we see his belly's growing rounder. So, our rabbit is a she!